In this video, we're going to talk about how to stop obsessive thoughts for good once and for all. When we are babies and we are children, you notice that we're living in a natural state of flow. We're not thinking about what we're doing. We're not thinking about what's good, what's bad, what's right or what's wrong. We're just being. But as we grow older, we begin to be molded into humans in a form of what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad, and we get shifted into these boxes of how we should be and how we should behave on this earth. And because of this, now we have to think about what we're doing before we're doing it. And we have to think about what box and what position or compartment we fit in to please and appease to the people who raised us or the people that we're looking to make connections to with. interact with. Because of this, we get into nasty patterns of overthinking. And when we overthink, a lot of the time it's because we're not being present any longer. We've moved out of the flow of living in our, in our soul as we did when we were children. And now we're in a world where we're living in our mind. We actually live in our mind when we're thinking. We're thinking about the future, which is not here and it's never going to come. And we're not. And we're also thinking about the past, which is not here and never was here in the first place. The only moment that we have is right now here in the present. And because of this, overthinking and just continuously thinking about these things brings much stress and it brings much suffering. So in this video, we're going to talk exactly about how to stop obsessive thoughts once and for all. But before we get into the video, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells to make sure you don't miss any of this transformative content. And make sure that you hit that like button as well. First tip that I want to give you to stop overthinking and stop obsessive thinking once and for all is I want you to realize that you're not your mind. Okay. You have to think about it like this. Who is the, what is the thing that is observing that you're thinking? Like there's something observing that you're thinking. It's something that's observing the thoughts. Now the mind is wanting to think. The mind is always thinking. The mind is attaching everything to thoughts but you got to understand that's what the mind was destined and designed to do but when we make the mind the master that's when issues come the the mind is the support system the mind was never supposed to be the leader our soul is who we are at our core we are just consciousness this is why our consciousness can actually observe the mind overthinking you're observing like, oh, your, your mind, you're thinking, why are you overthinking? Like that's your consciousness at your core, observing your thoughts. And then you also have your body. Your body is something that you have that we are allowed to utilize while we're having this human experience on this earth. But our soul, our spirit is really who we are and it cannot be destroyed and it can't be created as well. It's what incarnated here in this body. Our body and our mind is something that we have, but it's not who we are. And once you can understand that and really grasp that, that's going to help you stop your overthinking and your obsessive thoughts once and for all. First, you have to accept that you are not your mind and what your mind tells you is not law and is not true. Half of the things that we think about and that we make up is not even true. We just make them up or we're speculating if it could be a possibility. And this is where the suffering lives. This is where the suffering holds on to us because we spend so much time there trying to decide and figure out what's this or you know you may say oh my bills you know am I going to have enough money to to do this am I going to have enough money to do that is this going to happen well what if this happened well what if this happened like all of these thoughts is what creates the suffering within our mind essentially because it's not necessarily in our reality 
but because of manifestation and it can manifest into real life if we don't get a hold of it and this is why it could be so dangerous but once you can accept that you are not your mind this is something that will help you tremendously with stopping overthinking the second thing that you can do to stop obsessive thinking and stop overthinking once and for all is to not fight the thoughts and not label them as good or bad as we were growing as children and this is what we were told that's good that's bad do this don't do that but understand we we're only one thing we haven't had 20 bodies even though you may be 20 years old and your body was different every single year you have been 20 different people you're just one person you're just one thing and once you understand that you can get a hold of how your mind is really holding you back so when you don't label the thoughts as negative or positive and don't try to stop them just allow them to come in allow them to be but don't entertain them don't give them any meaning don't give them so much attention just let them be and let them go and then bring yourself back to your body okay if you can just let your thoughts and your mind just be, but then just focus yourself on your body, just focus on your being and you can and just bring yourself back to your hands and bring yourself back to your feet and just bring yourself back to the present moment. Because we know in our mind sometimes, our mind can take us out to space. Your mind can take you <laughs> so many places, so far out. But the issue is, a lot of times if we get in these negative thought patterns, our mind takes us places that we don't want to go. So anytime your mind tries to take you somewhere that you don't want to go, just allow your mind to do its own thing, but bring your consciousness back to your body. Become present, become here, and just continue to do what it is that you do and allow your mind to figure it out for itself, but don't give your mind the attention. Don't neglect your 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 consciousness and don't neglect your body to go on this wild goose chase with your mind now if this is something that you can grasp i encourage you to practice this and let me know in the comments how this works out for you these are the two techniques that i have that you can try to stop your obsessive thinking and stop overthinking once and for all that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, peace.